Hello oh, everyone, my name is Johnny Hurduk. We are here at Trumbull Racquet Club and I would like to talk today about footworking and positioning towards a ground stroke. Before we go into the details of today's exercise, it's important to understand the comfort zone and the ideal contact point of a ground stroke. My ideal contact point on a forehand is at waist level, at, at some distance sideways, but more important is this far in front of my body. I am here, it's slightly in front of the baseline as a visual reference. After identifying the ideal contact point, it's very important to take a reference point. And today, the reference point is going to be that yellow cone. And we're also assuming the cone is actually the ball standing still at my waist level. My goal is to run as quick as I can to the contact point and make sure I'm not too close or far from the ball. Here it goes. Ready position. I'm going to turn, I'm going to run, stopping on the contact point, and that's it. Some of the things you have to stay away from is positioning yourself too far from the ball. Or running too close to the ball. Once we are mastering the first part of the exercise, it's time for the real swing and adjusting to the ball. It is also very important not to stay too far or too close to the contact point. You can also use this exercise to improve your speed running towards the forehand or backhand depending which one you are trying to improve. In this case we are going to use an offensive shot, a neutral shot and also a defensive one. Very important are the adjustment steps, are those quickie steps before you are hitting the forehand or the backhand. Now it's your turn. Have a plan, work hard on it and be consistent with this. This is Johnny Hurduk, we are here at the Trumbull Racquet Club, I'll see you on the tennis court.